to go on the space blast it off. The excitement could be felt in classrooms all across the state of Washington, all across the nation. Here in Yakima, of course, that feeling of exuberation turned quickly to hopelessness as one group of third graders learn a grim lesson about life. This Senator Lee, really you has that part of the story. It's really hard, like that. You can feel how warm it gets. Well, that's what happens when the shuttle is going up and it's, it's cutting through the air. That friction is developed. As the waves of shock rippled throughout the country today, perhaps the biggest impact could be felt here in the classroom, where students and teachers saw their hopes for Christian McCullough, the first teacher in space, shattered. There, there was just a great deal of tension in here when uh, we were watching that part, and there was the, the announcement came that there was almost no likelihood that there would be anyone surviving. That was pretty dramatic and very surprising. The students had learned all about the space shuttle, and this morning, as they anxiously watched the launch and explosion of the space shuttle Challenger, Mrs. Sigley's third graders learned an even harder lesson. We consider that we're preparing the children for life, because all of us are having these kinds of dramatic experiences in our lives all of the time, and we don't wait to grow up to experience them. We experience them as children. Feedly says it turned out to be a very valuable experience for the students, and although they are quite young, the powerful images they saw on the television screen cross all age barriers. The realization of a tragedy was reflected not only in their faces, but in the questions they asked. How does the space shuttle blow up? That question, along with many others surrounding today's catastrophe, may never be answered. And so, for these children, a fascination with space may now be painted with another image. Well, first of all, it was good to me, but, um, is it going to be all right? And when, I, when it blew up, I thought, I, I feel so sorry for that teacher. When I saw that, I, I just really thought, why is not that space shuttle? Boy, I just want to get out of it. These students, like many others around the country, had planned on watching the first lesson from space tomorrow. But perhaps the lessons that they learned this morning will be just as valuable as the ones Christy McCullough would have taught them. At Whitney Elementary School, Lorene Ju reporting for News Center.